Hi, my name is Emma Daly and I'm the Chief Nurse and Information Officer at the Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. My role is to support our nurses and AHPs on their digital journey to be leaders in a digital enabled healthcare system. Enable them to use digital technologies and data effectively to support patient care. It's an important journey and we only have to reflect on the recent COVID pandemic and the lessons learned on how important it was for us to be digital to maintain safe and effective patient care. I want to spend the next couple of minutes talking to a presentation which will hopefully demonstrate what good documentation looks like and how an electronic patient record system can support better outcomes for patients and the workforce that are responsible for delivery of care. So clinical documentation, why is it important and how can an electronic patient record, EPR, support this? There are many types of documentation within healthcare, treatment notes, observation notes, assessment notes, care plans, correspondence, test results, imaging results and reports, clinical photography, medication charts, checklists and shared information in the format of transfer forms, clinical summaries, referrals, and GP communication. And thankfully, EPR systems can accommodate the, or most of this. So why are accurate record keeping so important? They help demonstrate accountability. They show how decisions related to patient care were made and support effective clinical judgments and decisions promotes better communication and sharing of information between members of the multidisciplinary team and supporting continuity of care. It helps identify risks and enable early detection of complications. And very importantly, with all of this documented, it helps address complaints and legal processes. Quite often, these come months, years after, and we have to be able to look back at our documentation and be able to support complaints and legal processes. So we all have our professional and regulatory um, bodies. And for nurses, we have the Nursing Midwife Council and we have guidelines in the form of the code. And we also have RCN record keeping. Last year, however, for all health healthcare professionals, NHS X produced the Records Management Code of Practice simply known as the code. The records management code <clears throat> is a guide to be used in relation to the practice of managing records. It is relevant to all organisations working within or under contract to the NHS in England and applies to adult social care and public health functions commissioned or delivered by local authorities. The code brings together professional regulatory guidance and also law such as Health and Social Act. So what are the principles of good record keeping? Electronic documentation should always be completed wherever possible, which supports accurate data collection, including the accurate recording of the date and time on all records and the individual's name, the designation of who's recorded that information. It's important to point out that if we are recording on behalf of, a, of another colleague or referring to a colleague that their full name and their role should also be stated. All information should be recorded in such a way that the meaning is clear, keeping to the facts. We should avoid abbreviations, jargon, meaningless phrases or irrelevant speculation. It's also too important to be professional at all times and make sure that re the relevant information is recorded. Do not use coded expressions of sarcasm or humour to describe patients. We shouldn't falsify our records and we should avoid documenting retrospectively. <clears throat> as well as the way we record in our EPR systems, this must also be ensured when we're completing paper documents. So what else can an EPR offer? It reduces duplication not just duplication for the workforce in terms of the number of places that they enter information, but also the number of times a patient is required to share their information. This can be really difficult for patients, especially if it's a sensitive conversation and they're being asked to share that information. 
with strangers over and over again. It also provides a single piece of truth, so thinking of allergies, height and weight, resource status. You can embed decisions tools to guide clear decision making and escalation processes. You can embed policies and protocols into one place that can be easily located. You can help to, help to deliver patient-centered care, support the sharing of information, and can also help collect data which inform decision making in the future regarding treatment choices and supports the planning of service delivery tailored to the needs of our population. My key message for you to all take away today is that as healthcare professionals we're all responsible for good documentation, we're all responsible for supporting one another to ensure that the right information is recorded which aids good communication and ultimately supports safe and efficient patient care. EPR systems are only as good as those who use them optimally and organisations need clinicians to be involved in developing and building systems, maintaining systems and transforming digitally enabled workflows. Thank you.